back up to Cliff Kingsbury, which uh, I'm not exactly sure what to think about that. Just because yeah. you do expect that when you have, I, I we said it when they put this team together, a high-octane offense. Mm-hmm. Only um, got better. Yeah. They only got better in the offseason, as, as far as on paper with their personnel. Right. But Cliff Kingsbury finishes his tenure uh, in Arizona 28-37-1. So I would say with uh, with the likes of Kyler, um, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, been there for multiple, granted he's battled injuries. Well, he was out the first six weeks <coughs> of the yep. year. But, ha- but has, you know, performed. And you got J.J. Watt there. You got uh, Chandler Jones out there. You got Buda Baker out there. You, then you bring in um, Hollywood Brown yeah. into the scene. You still got Rondell Moore. You, uh, I mean... Shit for you, Zach Ertz. They brought on this year, you know, and there's probably a ton of other Cardinals studs that I'm missing. Um, but to bring all that in and still be subpar is concerning. Um, the Cardinals had a bad season, dude. Like I don't even did they even win more than six games, seven games? <clears throat> I don't remember their overall off the top of my head. CB's gonna look it up, but but man, like I, I I'm surprised just because. Everyone seemed to really like Cliff Kingsbury, um, but ownership and the front office obviously saw that he was um, delivering subpar results with having uh, all that talent on his roster. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here. Is it going to tell me? I mean, shit, dude. I mean, the ownership was clearly confident in Cliff. Uh, just this offseason, they signed him uh, to a five-year deal all the way. Four and three. Was the Cardinals record this year? What four and three or four and thirteen? Excuse me. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. So, um, they signed him to a five year deal. He spent four seasons in Arizona already. They said we want you for the long haul. We're gonna sign you through twenty twenty seven, fully guaranteed contract. That's how confident ownership was in him. And then first year this year, to go out there and lay an egg and only put up four wins, they were like, nope, gotta go. Um. We don't know. I mean, Kyler was hurt for a lot of it. Uh, D-Hop was uh, suspended for six games. So, like, <clears throat> you know, I I think it's uh, you can't really make excuses at that level. You know, it is a business, and you're still expected to find a way to win. Um, however, I, I'm just shocked that they let him go after this one season because the talent's all still there. Minus JJ, he just retired. Correct. Yep. Minus JJ, who's retiring. And that, now there's talks of them looking to trade uh, uh, Hop- Hopkins. So, you know, I mean, there's that conversation out there as well. So maybe they're just like, all right, we're gonna yeah refresh. Which is crazy to think that you're gonna refresh when you have that <laughs> team put together. I don't even feel like it's a refresh. I feel like it's a cap space clear out. Yeah, like that's the only thing I can think of because like you have too many good players to still refresh right at this point. And and if I read this article correctly about the way that that management team has been doing, anyways, they've been they're they're known for paying people longer than their contracts. Like mm-hmm. you know they're firing, they fired the last coach that was there and had to pay him for a few years after his mm-hmm. contract was up. Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury is going to be making twenty million dollars over the next four seasons, even though he's not the coach. Yeah, because their owner gave him a fully guaranteed. So every two weeks, Cliff Kingsbury is going to be chilling in Thailand. He bought a one way ticket to Thailand. That's where he's at as we speak. Living and, like he, a and God. his checks are still coming in biweekly. Good for him. Yeah. I mean, you know, I what I will say is shout out to Cliff for doing whatever he feels he needs to do to clear his his mental right now. Yeah. Um, one way ticket to Thailand, turned his phone off. Or is at least ignoring the NFL because uh, multiple organizations have already um, stated that they've reached out to Cliff for coaching vacancies. Like, yo, we want you. Yeah. And he is not entertaining the likes of any of these calls. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, he's crazy. Why doesn't he want to find the next job? Dude, the man's worked his butt off to coach an NFL team, which is, dude, that, dude that's like a 22-hour-a-day like work. Or job. Isn't he like 43? He's pretty like young. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty young. And to know that you spent from 18 
till 40 something mm -hmm. working like nobody else works been at essentially the pinnacle of what you can do in this business mm -hmm. not being a player or uh you know an owner <laughs> you know a yeah. front office guy um you know i think it's i think it's impeccable and i think he does deserve that time off to really do what he wants to do and just you know think about do i even want a head coach anymore maybe he wants to move into the front office of some organization yeah uh, you know, where he can have more control of what's happening. Yeah. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, I was I was shocked, though. I was like, really? Yeah. After this? I get it. Like, that was a shit year. But, I mean, when your starting quarterback isn't on the field. Let alone, mind you, Kyler was not being the most grown-up professional this yeah, season. You know. A lot of complaining coming out of him this season. And it, and it all um, stems from the front office, not the coaching staff. Yeah. Like, now you're expecting the coaches to massage the bad relationships that you, as the ownership yeah. and front office, have created with the star player. Yep. Boy, good thing we were talking about Cleveland. Yuck. Deshaun Watson. So... 